Mike with MountainsToMetal.com. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install our rear cargo tray for the sixth generation Bronco. This will fit the four-door model and this will come exactly like this, assembled. Very easy to install. There's a left and right bracket you got to put in here and other than that you're looking at uh, four bolts for the brackets and six bolts here. Super easy. Add a lot of functionality to the rear cargo area. First thing you're going to want to do is install these main support brackets. I already have these installed here and all you got to do is remove these side panels. If you have the soft top, you're going to use these bolts. If you have a hard top, uh, you're going to use these bolts that are supplied using a 13 millimeter socket. Just uh, make sure these are nice and tight and uh, you're going to do that on the both the driver and passenger side and you can go ahead and reinstall these plastic panels when you're done with that both sides and I'll move on to the next step. All right, if you do have our rear roll bar molly uh, kit installed on either side, you will need to remove these. You're gonna wanna remove the uh, rear roll bar bolt right here, the seat belt bolt, and there's two bolts under here. Go ahead and leave the bracket installed, but you're just gonna remove those and pull this on out of the way and do the same for the other side as well. It'll make installing the cargo tray a lot easier. If you do have our rear cargo molly installed that goes on both the left or right, you will just need to remove the three bolts that are holding that on down here below. You don't need to remove the whole panel. I don't have it in this Bronco or else I'd show you. We can show you a clip of that in the video. But um, you're just gonna have to remove those. And basically, to make the install the easiest, just have this bracket in place and uh, just going to drop this cargo tray right on top of that. All right, to make the install a little bit easier, you're going to want to lay down the back seats. It just makes it a lot easier to slide this in place. But I'm going to take this uh, cargo basket. This is how it's assembled. You're going to want to look for the logo. That's going to be the front with this little grab handle here. So you're going to want to hold it about like this. You're going to walk it in and you're going to want to try to uh, carefully do this so you don't hit the roll bars or scratch anything. You're just going to drop that in place and slowly pivot it so that your holes will line up and we can center that up as we get our bolts tightened. But I'm going to drop the next six bolts into place and start tightening those up and I'll show you the rest. Alright, now you're going to want to drop down these bolts to slide in the kit. You're going to need a 316 hex key or allen key and a 13 millimeter uh, socket wrench. And uh, I'm just going to drop these bolts through the three holes on the bracket. may notice this sags a little bit this will tighten up and before we tighten this up and as we're tightening it up you want to make sure that the front of this is kind of uh, flush here and from left to right you can kind of use your your finger gauge here or tape measure it depends on how uh, anal you are but uh, <laughs> anyways so I'm gonna throw these nuts on here and I'm gonna start tightening those and as I start snugging these down I will start playing with fitment left or right to make sure everything lines up perfectly. And now that you have the bolts in there uh, lightly tightened, um, you're going to want to just use your fingers and kind of line it up. You want it flush on both sides, front and back. You'll feel it. Um, try to get it as parallel as possible to the, uh, the mounting bracket. And left or right, you're going to want to make sure it's even. Um, it doesn't really matter if it's not, it'll still work. You just want it centered up. But um, other than that, I'm just going to snug down the bolts with uh, either a 13 millimeter socket uh, or wrench and your 316th hex. Cut the zip ties and open her up. Now you're going to want to use your uh, weapon of choice to cut the zip ties. You're going to want to do that on both sides. And pull those on out. can take this moment to install these uh, lanyards that come with it. You can use whatever lanyard you want. Um, it's, it's up to you. We're going to give you these. Uh, these work pretty good because they are a little bit longer. Uh, but they are nice to just grab onto. Flip this thing up. You want to pull it up and down. Check it for alignment. And there you go. Alright, now that you have your cargo tray installed, Put whatever you want back here. You can live in a dream, read Word Up magazine, salt pepper, heavy DF in the limousine, whatever you want to do, you can do it right here. <laughs>
cargo tray, our gas uh, assist springs will still work with 50 pounds of weight, so I wouldn't recommend putting too much more than that if you want to continue to use the uh, gas assist springs. Um, as far as troubleshooting goes, one issue you might have is if your brackets don't line up perfectly, there is a pin under here. And if that pin does not clear the basket, you may have some interference issues. And all you gotta do to resolve that is loosen up these three bolts, slide the bracket back just a hair, and uh, make sure that pin clears the basket a little bit more. And it should resolve any issues you have with it not properly closing and aligning. Right. This is Nick at MountainsToMetal.com. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the rear cargo tray installation video. And it will come as useful to you as it is for me. I've really enjoyed having this in my Bronco and testing it out. So, Anyways, check out MountainsToMetal.com and uh, I'll see you out on the trails. Thank you.